Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna give you a comprehensive overview of Draw Tool in MS Word. We will see how to use different pens, highlighter and ruler. We will also see how to ink something into a shape and mathematical equation. So, let's get started. Right on the ribbon, you can see we have this tab called Draw Tab. Simply click over it, you can see there are a lot of tools right underneath this Draw Tab. Let's choose this black pen. It is 0.5 millimeter. Let me click over it and now you can write something with it like this. And right next to it, you can see we have this downward arrow. Simply click over it. And we have some more options to work with. You can choose the thickness right from here. For example, if I'm going to click over it, then the thickness gets increased. And similarly, we can also choose the colors from the given options. Let me choose yellow color this time. And you can see it's the yellow color. But if the color that you are looking for isn't over here, then you can go to more colors option right over here. You can see we have all sort of RGB colors which we can choose. On this side, we have custom option as well. You can choose this green option. You can choose this blue option. And whatever color you are looking for, it could be found. Now the canvas becomes a little messy. Let's go over here onto this tool. This is called eraser tool. Using this tool, you can actually remove these scribbles from your canvas like this. Let's look at this pin now. It is again a red pin, but if you want, you can give it your desired color from these colors as well. Let me choose this one and you can see it's sort of reddish color. And this particular option over here, you can see it is actually a lasso select. You can click over it and then draw around the object that you have drawn and it would select it. Then you can press delete from your keyboard and it would be deleted. So over here, you can actually have four pens and you can select their colors for your use. And this last one is a highlighter. Let me write some text over here to show you how you can use highlighter. Now click over it and you can highlight a text like this. And there are some other colors option as well. And you can also choose the thickness right from here. Now this particular option is a selection tool. Simply click over it and click on whatever you have drawn. It would select it and press delete and it would be deleted. Let me delete the text. The other option is draw with a touch. If you are using a drawing table, then this is really a handy option. For example, let me choose this particular color black 0.5 millimeter and over here you can see we can draw anything we can write our name like this and you can also use this particular option to draw a shape as well as ink it to a mathematics equation let me show you let me select it like this and press delete now click on this draw with touch option go over here ink to shape and now you can simply draw a shape simply using your mouse like this it would automatically convert your badly drawn shape into a perfect shape like this similarly you can draw a circle and there you go so you can use this draw with touch option along with ink to shape option and draw some common shape like this as well. Let me show you this particular option ink to math. Simply click over it and now you can write a mathematical equation. Let me write s is equal to 2 pi r 2 pi r. You can see it has not drawn it perfectly but simply go over here into select and correct. Let me click over here right click and now you can choose 2. It's 2. Pi is correct but this last one is a gamma and i want it to be r so simply click over it and from here you can see we don't have any option so what you can do simply erase it i can erase it like this again i would draw r like this again it has not picked it perfectly let me select it and correct it like this and now you can see there is r click over it and now you can see our equation gets into a perfect shape and let me click on insert 
and there you go we have written our equation right over here and now there are some other options like this but for this particular demonstration i'm not going into its detail if you want to increase its size you can increase it like this as well so that's how you can use it to write mathematics equation simply by scribbling on this tool let me go again to draw tool and let me show you how you can use this ruler option simply click over it and there you can see we have this ruler it is tilted at 45 angle you can bring it anywhere onto your canvas like this and now if you want to rotate it simply use the scroll wheel of your mouse and you can turn it like this as i'm doing let me put it let me bring it to zero degree and now you can bring it anywhere onto your canvas like this and you can draw a line as we normally do on a notebook page like this and there you go let me draw one more at the bottom and there it is now you can simply bring it down like this and you can also rotate it to 90 degree let me show you and let's keep it right over here and i'm going to draw this line again and there you go simply bring it over here and you can turn it off right from here i don't think this particular line is required I'm gonna delete it and there is your line and finally I'm gonna show you if you want a particular background for your drawing tools you can have it right from here in this edit option for example you can choose this particular option you can also choose these lines and you can also choose these grid lines as well for example you are going to draw something that needs meticulously drawn lines then you can use these options and if you want to turn this grid line off you can simply click on none and there it goes it can also show you ink replay let me show you i'm gonna write a like this over here and let me click on ink replay and there you can see it shows you how it was drawn initially and this canvas actually shows the area where you have drawn something so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching